Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know, my son is already coming home with things he learned on the playground. And as it stands, of course, not one thing he's ever told me is true. And then so it's the battle of me trying to convince him that what he learned on the playground or from YouTube isn't true and he typically doesn't believe me. Case in point, last week he told me that he learned that Halloween is the devil's birthday. I had never heard that one before. Have you? You know, there's actually no other holiday like Halloween. It's the only holiday where you actually leave your house and go door to door in your community and meet your neighbors. But oddly enough, year after year, you'll always hear about uh, a group of Christians who don't like Halloween. Funny. You'd think Christians would like a holiday where you went door to door. <laughs> but the holiday that we celebrate today as Halloween borrows from so many traditions and as a whole, it's an entirely American holiday. It's kind of a lot like Christmas, actually. I mean, sure, the Christmas tree comes from one tradition, hanging stockings from another, but when you put it all together with Santa Claus presents and a fire in the hearth, it becomes an American holiday. And I think most of us have very fond memories of Halloween growing up. We, we all trick-or-treated. Typically after dinner, you'd put on your costume, grab a flashlight and a pillowcase, and you'd head out to the street with your parents. And you'd begin, you know, with the people on your street, door to door, saying hi to your neighbors. And eventually you'd meet up with another kid from your block or another kid from school. And then you'd join forces until it was six or seven kids along with you. And then you have a pile of adults out in the street. And of course they're laughing and drinking coffee. And you'd eventually wind up back at home where you'd dump out your stash on the living room carpet. Your dad would pull out his candy that he wanted as his fee. And then maybe you'd get to stay up late to watch Charlie Brown on TV. It was innocent. And it was a holiday about being together as a family, and it was about community, and it was about neighborhood fun. In fact, the word Halloween means holy evening, and it was the evening mass before All Saints Day. So Christians named Halloween. So in truth, Halloween is as far removed from its beginnings as Christmas is from its. You know, I read an article about a Catholic priest who basically said this week that Halloween is what you make it. And if we as parents make it about fun and community and dress up, then that's what it's about. And that's how our children will think about it. If we're not scared of it, then our children won't be either. My parents were incredibly strong Christians and were very active in their church and their faith. And I went trick-or-treating since I was old enough to walk. The holiday only had the meaning that my parents gave it, and they were strong and mature enough in their faith to know that. I, for one, think meeting your neighbors is important. Teaching my children to not be afraid of the old lady who lives at the end of the street, I think that's a good thing. Connecting names with faces and smiles with closed doors that we normally see, I think that's a good thing. You know, one week before I moved out of my house back in California to move to Texas, I was watching my neighbor clean out his garage. And so, you know, you're nosy. And so I peeked inside his garage and you know what I saw? Mountain bikes, kayaks, rafting equipment, motorcycles, fishing rods, camping gear, and a canoe. And you know what I thought? How come I don't know this guy? Too late now, I was gonna move to Texas in a week. Community activity is important. And so anything that gets us out of our houses, away from our electronic screens, and especially meeting the people who live around us, I for one think that's a great thing. You know, Jesus told a story once about a man who had so much that he didn't know what to do with it. It's found in Luke chapter 12 and it's verses 13 to 21. And in verse 17, Jesus tells us the story. He says, the land of a rich man produces plentifully. And he thought to himself, what shall I do? for I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, fool, 
This night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? Kind of seems harsh. But here is a rich man who lives outside of society, and he only has himself for counsel, and so he decides to hoard wealth. He hoards his blessing selfishly. He lived in isolation, he made decisions in isolation, and it caused him to be greedy and selfish. And more and more, it is becoming easier to hide in our homes. And we are known only by those who we let in. And sure, you may have some great friends, even at church. But you know, church can be another place where we hide, especially when we think the world outside is wicked, or we think the world outside is out to get us. God lives in community as Father, Son, and Spirit. And He designed us to live in community and to think of others as well as we think of ourselves. How can we do that if we stay isolated? How can we ever introduce our neighbors to Christ if we haven't first introduced ourselves to our neighbors? If only there was a holiday built into the American calendar where it was already socially acceptable to go up and down the street with your family. Ah, there is. This October 31st is a Sunday, and it's also Halloween, and our church, Walden Community Church, will have trunk or treat. It'll be for two hours, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We're gonna have a live DJ, lots of candy, and there'll be plenty of time for you to go home and be a house uh, to trick or treat uh, yourself or to give out candy in your neighborhood. This October 31st is totally free. Head on down to Walden Community Church with your little ones from 5 to 7 p.m. I hope to see you there.